everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. So today is going to be a special pour. Um, so you guys were all voting for either blue or orange in the last um, comments in the last video. I, I did not get the orange in time. Um, I actually, it says it's on delivery for today. So I won't be doing the orange pour, but I will do it in the next video. In the meantime, in between, I still have to work on commission pieces. So I thought I would do a commission piece and then that way I'll get the orange paint today and then on my next video um, I will do the orange background, Dutch pour. So today, this is what we're working with. So this is the pewter slash um, light blue violet and you're probably wondering why on earth do I have so much paint uh, mixed up? Well, if you saw the thumbnail on my video, um, you'll see that I'm doing a double Dutch pour. So the pewter piece I did, um, which you are going to see outside, I finally had some sunshine the other day and I went outside. I took all my pieces out there. I, you know, videotaped them all so that you guys can see all my finished, the pewter piece. Um, I think the lime green piece, I can't remember, but... That'll be after the intro, you'll get to see all that. But the pewter piece, the light blue violet, was so popular that I have five now commissions to do for it. So I figured, you know what? I do two at once. So we'll see how that works out. I've never done two Dutch pours at the same time. So um, we'll give it a go. And um, since the last video, the file got corrupted and you guys didn't get to see the ivory pour, which I'm sorry about that. I have now two cameras set up. So I'm going to have this camera rolling and then I'm going to have my old phone, which is the one I use to actually do my editing and uploading onto YouTube. I'm going to have that recording at the same time. So if anything happens to one recording, I hopefully have a second recording. So let's hope that this never happens again until I come up with a better solution. Um, maybe, you know, a few of you mentioned buying a GoPro. Um, you know, I might look into that, but if these two cameras can at least back each other up and if one gets corrupted, I still have the other one, that should be sufficient for now. So I've got two cameras rolling today and they're gonna be at different angles because I'm using the entire table today. So um, that's it for that. And then don't forget, today's the last day to be um, entered into my 100,000 subscriber giveaway. Check out my previous video number 233. I will link it up here at the top. The contest ends today. So today is Wednesday, July 22nd. It will end at midnight, okay? Midnight tonight, it will end. Um, for those of you, you have to comment in the comment section below that video to be entered into the giveaway. Don't email me. Um, you can't Facebook message me. You can't Instagram message me saying I wanna be part of the giveaway. I can't enter you into the giveaway that way. You must comment below because then I go online to a random computer generator. I put in the video, the link to the video, and it randomly goes through all the comments on that video. Now, if you've commented five times in that video, it won't count as five votes. That particular program can filter out duplicate and triplicate or whatever comments by the same name. So it will be fair to everybody and it will only catch the name once. So you're only entered once. But that's the point is you can't ask me to enter you into the giveaway via Facebook or Instagram or emails. I'm getting tons of emails saying, please enter me. I can't. You have to be in the comments below. I also get people saying, I can't comment. I, you know, it won't let me comment. You must be logged into YouTube. You must have a Gmail account and sign into YouTube in order to be able to subscribe and to write and to write a comment in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed and you're not um, signed into YouTube, you cannot comment. Um, so I hope that makes things a little more clear for those of you who are struggling or can't, you know, comment below. Um, but yeah, so I will do the random generator picker um, either Thursday or Friday. And I will hopefully by the next video announce all the winners. So there's six winners, okay? And I'll let you guys know. Um, I think that's it. Um, thank you to everyone who's been heading over to Lucas's YouTube channel. 
Last I checked, he was at 950 subscribers, which is insane. Um, so he's almost at a thousand in about two weeks, which is crazy. Um, but thank you guys to everyone who's headed on over and, you know, been so supportive to those of you who have been donating and all that or buying stuff off his Amazon wish list. You know, thank you so much. Um, people are sending him all kinds. I have a wonderful client. I cannot wait to get these. He has HO scale trains that he used and played with when he was a child. Okay. Um, so he said he had them up in boxes in the rafters and he pulled them all down. They're a little dusty, but that's okay. Um, he sent me pictures and Lucas was thrilled. So he was kind enough to ship them to me. Um, so we cannot wait to get those. Um, they're like antiques. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> But we're so excited um, and Lucas is super, I don't know who's more excited, Lucas or me. But it's just generosity like that. I have another viewer who's actually a photographer and she went through all her pictures of her all of her photography days and found some awesome train pictures and she's actually making them into prints and sending them to Lucas and we're going to frame them and hang them up in his room. So guys, it just warms my heart. Thank you so much for being so kind to me, Lucas, and even Sophia. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, I want to give something to Lucas, but I can't leave your daughter out. So thank you so much for thinking of her. They both say, you know, if I could put them on camera, I would, but I can't due to the COPA laws and YouTube and all that. So I can't put their faces on camera, but believe me when I tell you, they thank you, both of them from the bottom of their hearts. So thank you so much, guys. Okay. I'm going to set up my cameras on the sides. I'm going to get my canvases ready and flood them. And then I'll be right back and we'll start with this double Dutch Dutch pour. Be right back. And here we have some more pieces that are completed for clients. I love these pieces. I love the fish. I love the dark purple in there with the blues and the shimmer again top coated with none other than crystal resin beauties all right on to the next batch and here we have a zebra I think this turned out pretty cool now I contemplated do I make the zebra white with black stripes or black with white stripes. I pretty much love the way this turned out. I made them black with white stripes. So that is my zebra. That is off to a client. And this is for a good friend of mine. Um, she owns a horse named Bajka. And I made this for her as a gift for her birthday. She's actually the wife of the um, Steelers fan who I did the Steelers logo for. So I'm really happy with the way these beautiful colors turned out. She's going to love it. So there's that. And moving along. All right. So here are the pieces I showed you in the last video, but this time in the sunlight. And I could not be more pleased with this palm tree. Um, I think it's one of my all time favorite pieces, even though it's just so simple. Um, I love the way the tree bark ended up. And here is the seahorse in all its glory. It's sunshine glory. There's three different shades of purple on this. It's beautiful, turned out super awesome. And here is the alligator. I called it a crocodile in um, my last video, but it's actually an alligator. But I'm really happy with this as well. I'm happy with every piece. If I wasn't happy, I wouldn't be showing it to you and I would probably just do another one um, or paint over it. But yeah, I'm super happy with all these pieces here. All right, a few more to show you.
And here is the pewter or light ivory blue triptych. I'm so proud of this piece and people loved it so much. I have to do five more pieces like this, believe it or not. And I'm so thrilled and happy about that. It's so sunny out here. I cannot see what I'm recording, just so you know. I can barely see the screen on my phone, so I hope I'm getting good angles. Look at that. It's like it's glowing. It's amazing. All right, so there you have it. Okay, guys, I am back. I It's been, oh gosh, maybe... 30 minutes, 20, 20, 20 minutes or so, 20, 30 minutes. I finally got all the canvases covered with my base paint, which is the Artist Loft um, Light Blue Violet. And uh, my canvases are 12 by 12, 12 by 16, and 12 by 12. And it's the same thing on the other side. So my clients um, wanted me to do the exact same thing as my um, previous video. Um, on a future one, I actually, one of the clients, I uh, decided to also add like a burgundy. I'll probably add the garnet to it. But for now, since these two are going to be the same, I am going to do these two exactly the same. Um, so for these two pieces, they are for Adriana, a uh, client. And then the other one is for Sarah Mack, who's actually another YouTube artist, a friend of mine. And uh, she actually saw my video and she loved it. And she says, you got to make me one. And I said, no problem. So Sarah and Adriana, these are for you guys. Um, and if you want to check out Sarah Mack, um, I will put her um, link in the description below if you guys want to check out Sarah. So my colors are Iridescent, Iridescent Blue Green by Pepeo Studio Acrylics. I have a uh, permanent blue violet by uh, Amsterdam. Then I have sterling silver by Deco Art. And finally, I have greenish blue by Amsterdam. So I am now recording with this camera, which is my regular camera. And on the other side, I will show you guys after I have the other camera recording. So I have backup now. All right, let's get started and hopefully I can do the same thing I did last time. So let's uh, start here. And then I went up and then I went down and across. All right. And I'm going to go do that on the other side as well. And then we'll blow them out. So we go across and we go up. I almost feel like there wasn't enough blue in that one. I'm going to touch that one up. I don't think I squeezed the bottle enough there, so I'm just going to add a bit more. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Keep them in order. Let's do silver. All right. I now because I'm doing this on my table, I can't do anything on this table until they are somewhat dry and then I can move them to my drying rack. But for the meantime, I do not dare move my paintings after I have done the blowout, just in case. Okay, so now I'm going to make my way around carefully without knocking anything over. Here we go, back on my regular side. All right, so let's go. And I've already popped my bubbles with my torch. And uh, just remember, because I'm doing a colored base, I have painted the sides of my canvases just with a paintbrush and paint straight from the tube just for to make sure there is a uh, good coverage with the uh, colored paint 
you know, when you do a white base, it doesn't matter because the canvas is already white. But when you're doing a base, you know, different color, you want to make sure your sides get really good coverage. All right. And it looks like Juno has made an appearance. This is the best thing about my studio lights. I can see every speck or hair that lands into my resin or my paintings, which is great. All right, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna put the, got my paper towel in there. I'm gonna put these away so that they are out of the way. I'm going to torch the bubbles. And we are going to blow. I'm going to start on the other side. Let's uh, carefully. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, carefully. It's a really good thing I have a really long cord now. Sorry for the glare. I see there's a glare there, but there's really nothing I can do about that with the studio lights on both ends there. Okay. I will bring you guys down for a close-up and you'll get a better view. Okay, let's uh, blow this out and uh, see what happens. All right, let's start here. My hair dryer blew the plastic right onto my painting. Thank God it wasn't blown over yet. I better be careful with that. So you know what? I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna keep that there. Oh, but this turned out so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna mess with that in a minute. I gotta go to the other side and blow that side first and then I'll mess with them. So let me come around to this side. One down, one to go. All right, we are over here now. Oh boy, careful, Canela. Oh, my hair dryer is a little hot. Yeah, she's a hot. Hope she's not melting in there. All right, uh, let's see here. Let's uh, let's try and go. It's really hot. Yeah, it's hot. That's okay. I'll blow anyway. Just pray I don't catch on fire. All right, let's. Uh, Let's go. take a break actually you know what I think I'm going to really quickly just untape it 
just to get the plastic, there we go, off, because I don't want it to melt any more than it already has. Oh, it's actually fine. That's good. Ah, this is awesome. I love it. Look at this double Dutch pour. You know, I used to play double Dutch and do skipping rope double Dutch back in the day. It was so much fun. Oh, let's see. Let's have a gander here. This turned out so pretty. Yeah. I was really worried about doing two at once because it is kind of hard. Um, but uh, I don't think I want to touch anything. And you know what? I don't want to torch it if I don't have to. I only torch when I do the white base typically um, because I know there's a lot of underlying color. But I don't want to torch typically my um, colored backgrounds because I don't like the teeny, teeny, million, million little bubbles that surface when you um, torch something. So I think I'm going to just leave it. Uh, let me run to the other side and make sure. Are we, uh, see, we're matchy, matchy, matchy. We're matching here, almost kind of matching here. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on carefully to the other side. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm going to blow. Oh, I got my, sh I really got myself in there, didn't I? I did. Okay. So I'm going to blow a little bit over here without getting anything in the way. There we go. Much better. Okay, I like that now. Perfect. I'm not touching, I'm not gonna touch anything. And then here I'm gonna blow a little because I wanna bring um, a little bit down here. So let's bring that down. So getting, I got my hand in there. Okay, that's better. Uh, paper towel. I'm a mess. This is hard with two canvases. All right, so I'm just going to grab some and just dab it right here where my hand touched it and fix that. Okay, um, that's it. I think I am done with these. I'm super excited. They turned out really well. So I am going to um, scrape. Don't forget, let me show you real quick. I'll grab a popsicle stick. Remember what I've said. Take a popsicle stick, scrape the bottoms. Can you see that? Yep. Um, make sure you catch all the drips. Get rid of them all. Just like so. I will see here. You want to get all these drips out. Okay. So let me um, bring you guys down for a close up. I think I'll just do it with uh, maybe both studio lights on and off. So let me get to that and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so here is the one side. I will show you guys with the studio lights on. Lots of cells. So pretty. This was kind of cool, though. I've never done two Dutch pours at once, let alone two triptychs. So that's pretty, uh, that was pretty fun. Uh, challenging. Uh, there was a lot of paint I had to mix for sure. Okay, so let's now walk around. So here's, let me show you. There's my other camera. So I've got it on a tripod, on a chair. These are the best tripods ever. Um, much better than the one I used to use. So that was recording the whole time. Um, so let's... Uh, Move around over here and check out the second piece. Both are so pretty. Both turned out just the way I wanted to. I didn't have to scrape any of it. 
I didn't have to fix any parts of it, which makes me really happy because I have no more pewter paint. <laughs> I literally mixed just enough um, to do these two pieces, which is crazy. A uh, little extra is always good, but all right. So there you have it. I know the studio lights are really bright, kind of giving a reflection, but let me turn so pretty. Let me turn the studio lights off and we'll get a better view. One second. Okay, and here we are with the studio lights off. It is gorgeous. You know, these paints just shine and shimmer. People have been asking me, you know, are you putting pigments or powders? What, like, what are you putting in your paints, iridescent medium? Nope, they're just metallic paints or iridescent paints. I love the Pebeo Studio Acrylics. They're beautiful paints. Um, they're a little pricier than Artist Loft <clears throat> and Liquitex Basics, but I don't care because you get results like this. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you like my double Dutch, Dutch pour? Um, let me know what you think. So there's the first one. So pretty. I love the design it makes. It's so neat. All right. And I will make my way across to the other side. Don't forget to check out all my information in the description below. Don't forget, you can now save 10% off your entire Loli Vefi um, purchase on the website. So the silicone mats, the squeeze bottles that you see me using, all that stuff. You can save 10% off the entire website using code CANELA10. So don't miss out on that. And check out my uh, Amazon links. For those of you who shop on Amazon, if you could use my Amazon link to get to Amazon and shop your heart out, that actually helps me tremendously. So for those of you who have been doing that, thank you very much. Um, don't forget to check out Lucas's channel and Juno and Echo, and please subscribe to their channels as well. I would really appreciate it. And to my PayPal, for anyone who would like to donate to my channel, um, there's a bunch of people who have donated and I didn't write the names down, so I'll have to shout you guys out in my next video. Um, but thank you to everyone who has been so gracious and so giving. Thank you so much, everybody. So there you have it. The next video. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. So the next video will be the orange base, unless something changes, but should be the orange base um, Dutch pour. So stay tuned for that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And don't forget, today's the last day to be part of the giveaway. Go and comment on video number 233. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.